some reason there's three sandwiches in here. Okay. I, I, I don't know what the kids do. All right, ready? I'm ready. So yeah, we're going to the Trans Wellness Conference. Yay! <laughs> Conference. That's what you think. <laughs> yes, we are. No, I think you're funnier than you are. This is also true. So, what are you expecting? I'm hoping to get some like real like information, cause you know the internet's great and all, and you learn a lot online and. You know, I've got a pretty good community and a pretty good um, online support network. It's kind of like a black hole, like where we live. I mean, we're driving to Philly to go to the conference. I mean, to just go and get, you know, my medical care, we have to drive to Philly. And, you know, so there's not like any resources around us. Yeah, so I mean, to actually have, you know, other, you know, trans people <laughs> to talk to in person and, you know, commiserate with, I think would be nice. Um, that's hard to do online versus, you know, actually sitting and having a decent conversation with somebody. So that's, that's the main thing I'm looking to, to get out of it, I hope. Are there any specific topics that you're particularly looking forward to, you know, getting information on or going to the uh, mm -hmm. workshops on? Yeah, um, there's a couple um, dealing with insurance companies, so, um, and there's a couple um, panels, you know that are about, you know, different surgeries. So, I mean, that's something I'd like to at least learn a little bit more about. Um, what, there's, se there's several different ones that I'm interested in going to that actually are about um, vocal training. There's many a time when I hear my own voice, especially on, you know, a video, and it uh, doesn't sound how I want it to. I think it'll be good to just get some other information to kind of help me along. So that, I'm excited for that because that, that's something that is tangible and I can work on immediately. I just asked Shannon all these questions about what she's hoping to get out of the conference and everything and I wanted to add my two cents because um, Really, I was thinking last night when we were getting ready that, uh, like she said, we're in kind of a uh, desert as far as LGBT uh, advocacy, services, um, community groups, things like that where we live. So my interest is um, in advocacy, building community groups, um, finding resources and um, meeting other people who are uh, like me who are in a relationship and trying to navigate transition just like everybody else is and also 
getting more information um, directly from people uh, who have experienced it, who have um, gone through all of this. Because, you know, the internet is a great resource, but you, it's not really interactive. You can't ask questions, you know, and get answers immediately, or sometimes at all. And I'm interested, I think there are some people that are from our support groups online that are going to be there, so it'd be nice to actually, you know, talk to some of those people. And I think it's going to be an exciting day if Emily decides to behave herself. Yesterday was a little bit of a meltdown kind of day. Hopefully, hopefully the worst of that is over and she got it out of her system last night. We'll see. Well, there's not a lot of uh, filming in allowed in the actual conference for obvious reasons for people's privacy and, 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 and people's comfort. So, um, we'll go to the conference today and then we'll share our thoughts on our way home. So, it is Trans Wellness Conference Day 2. Uh, well, day three for everybody else. Day two for us, because we didn't end up going on Thursday. Uh, I am rocking my brand new Trans Wellness Conference shirt that I got yesterday. So I'm sure I'll get like, I don't know, 50 million questions about stuff that I don't know the answer to. Where are the bathrooms? <laughs> well, I know that one. Okay, so I'll probably know the answer to most of them and people will probably think I'm staff all day. Whatever. Uh, so last night we were exhausted and so we did not really get a chance to do much of a recap of the day so but we really had an interesting conversation on the way home so um let's recap so shut what's up tell us about your day yesterday um well yesterday was good I went, um, they didn't get to too many of the workshops yesterday, um, but I, got, I went to one about, um, voice feminization. It reminded me a lot of, um, vocal exercises, um, when we were used to sing in choirs, um, so it was very familiar kind of material. Um, and then I went to a another one later in the day that was about um, different um, confirmation sur surgery options. The presenter was actually out of Arizona, so it's kind of far away. Now there's, there's another one today from um, Dr. Rumer, who's in um, Pennsylvania, so my... I think Ardmore. Or, yeah, some, something like that. So. I'm probably going to go to that too, um, get a different perspective from another doctor to see what what her options are, what she's about. Um, some of the things that um, we, we were talking about yesterday on the way home was just kind of the vibe when we got there was just something that you know, since I started transitioning, I haven't really had a chance to experience. But um, we're, we're sitting in a light at the convention center, waiting across the street to get into the parking garage. And I just looked up, and you know, the people crossing the street, it's crazy when you realize how much tension you hold in all the time trying to navigate in the world there's constantly this kind of like low level anxiety about dealing with the public and worrying that somebody's going to have a problem because you exist it was very interesting to have um, kind of break and I looked up and I just saw like somebody just with a shock of blue hair and then um, I was like oh hello 
and then I looked and just saw just people all over the place which fit me and it was very comforting and I felt very good about myself and, and not, you know, self-conscious. And then we went inside and the, the convention center is big enough that there's actually two events going on and so we walked into one door and, and the woman was actually asking if we were there for the job fair or the wellness conference. and. And immediately, that tension came back for a second because I'm like, ah, oh, I'm in the wrong place. And it's just weird that you don't realize that that's there continually until it's gone for a moment. Um, but then when we actually got into the convention space where the wellness conference is at, it was just crazy. Just There's just tons of just friendly people, smiling. You know, happy to see you. I'm, everybody was actually super happy because we were carrying the baby, and that helped. But um, it was interesting. It was, you know, we were standing at registration. They were playing, you know, some music, and I just like caught myself just kind of just like, bopping along and just, and just feeling so relaxed because I was in a place where I was allowed to just be myself, not have to worry about it, not be self-conscious, not constantly going, is somebody going to clock my voice, is, you know, my makeup good today, God bless you, what was that, um, she probably does like, probably, she's probably a mess on her face now, it's probably a horror show, <laughs> um, but it was just, it was just such a, good experience to just be able to relax for a change so yeah I mean that was kind of my big takeaway from yesterday was just um, being able to have that experience of just you know feeling safe and being able to relax and not worry about how I was existing in the world and able to just exist and that was nice okay so how was i feeling at the conference you know shannon was telling me all about how she felt really uh at ease at the conference and um was really happy to kind of be with her tribe um and uh of course that feels that that made me feel good because i know like that she's always kind of looking her shoulder and stuff like that so so that was great and then we were talking about me um, baby yesterday was a uh, cranky pants and so I stayed out of the workshops um, I was just um, being Miss Popularity because everybody wanted to see the baby um, in the exhibit area and stuff like that but I found myself surprisingly very uncomfortable. Not because I was uncomfortable being around the community or anything like that. I was very uncomfortable because I found myself not knowing how to talk to people. I'm always so careful, of, I try to be so careful about what I say and how I say things because I understand to as much as a person who doesn't experience dysphoria understands dysphoria. I understand what Shannon deals with. Um, and so I found myself being really afraid of like talking to a stranger and saying the wrong thing or having it taken the wrong way. Like there were a couple people that were like, their clothes were like super on point. They were just some gorgeous, gorgeous people. And I was like, I wanna go tell them that I think they're gorgeous. And then I was like, but maybe they'll, if I say that to them, they'll be self-conscious. Like maybe if I, um, maybe it'll have the opposite effect 
than what I want. Maybe, um, maybe they'll think I'm being patronizing. Yeah, so I found myself, like a couple times, being like, oh my god, I love that girl's blue hair. And I didn't go and say anything because I didn't know how to approach people. So that kind of um, upset me a little bit because I felt like, you know, I missed an opportunity that A, could have made somebody's day, B, could have made a connection with another person. So I had some difficulty with that. And that's the, the crux of the discussion that we had last night on the way home. Um, and Shannon, you know, had some, some thoughts about it. So my general thoughts on the matter were that um, in all likelihood, if you were to go up and be like, oh my God, I love your blue hair, um, or something like that, I think that, at least from my perspective, most people will be like, oh, thank you. And that would actually make them feel fantastic because you're affirming um, their parents or complimenting them and making them feel good about themselves. I understand the hesitancy to not want to um, necessarily draw attention and make somebody really self-conscious about their appearance, but by and large, that's usually always a a nice thing to have somebody um, to have somebody you know compliment you and let you know that you look good and it's it's a nice feeling that to have especially because I know at least from my experience as a trans person it's you're always kind of very self-conscious about how you look very worried about not looking good so when somebody, you know, comes up and is like, yeah, you look good, you look nice, it's very affirming and kind of val and very validating in, you know, what you were trying to do with yourself today. But especially in that context, I think, um, I don't think anybody would necessarily be as self-conscious as perhaps one would not at the conference. I think that by and large, it, anybody that you would have complimented would be very grateful for having that kind of validation. Um, and I know you were talking too about um, you actually met someone, um, what was it, Fran? Franny. Yeah, and then... Sweetest lady. Yeah, and you were saying that probably in a different context, you know, you might not have had that interaction. Cause, and that was a very interesting thing that you were, you well, were telling me about as well. 90% of the people that I talked to, I talked to because um, I had the baby with me. Like, you know... We should have set up a meet and greet table just yeah, for her. Yeah, we should have charged for autographs or something. Um, but so I was in the um, bathroom and I was changing her, at, or getting ready to change her, and Franny, who was a lovely woman, um, started talking, you know, asked about her, said hello to her because she just is waving at everybody because she thinks she's like the queen, I don't know. Um, and. I was saying, and I really had a lovely little chat with her for, you know, two or three minutes. It wasn't anything. Um, but I was hoping that I would see her again when Shannon was with me because I really wanted to introduce them because she was such a lovely lady. Um, and then I was talking to Shannon and I said, you know, that's an interaction that would only happen at this conference because I think, and I could be wrong, 
maybe Franny is just an awesomely brave human being, but my, my, uh, sense is that, you know, if we were in the bathroom at Walmart or Target or the grocery store or something, Franny would not have spoken to me because she would have been afraid of my reaction if she commented on my baby. And I just think, you know, I'm so glad that we, like, went to the conference and are going to the conference again and, like, that there is such a safe space. But, like, why? Why is it only at the conference? You know, like, like, what is going on in the world that two women can't have an interaction about a baby, you know, out in the rest of the world because one of them has to be afraid of how they'll be taken, how they'll be reacted to. But how many opportunities am I missing to meet wonderful, amazing people like her out in the rest of the world because of the society that we're in and the awful prejudices and you know, the fact that people have to be watching their backs and worried about, you know, the interaction that uh, people have. Okay, so it is the next day. Um, it is Sunday. Um, the um, last day of the conference was yesterday. Um, we're recording this now because we had some fun technical difficulties yesterday. It was my fault. I didn't turn the microphone on. It helps. Yeah, so I guess we're going to talk about kind of what our final thoughts are um, after the conference. Yes. Yes, we are. <laughs> well, Shannon, what were the things that you got out of yesterday's uh, workshops? Um, well, I went to a couple of different ones. Um, the first one that um, we went to was um, another workshop about um, different confirmation confirmation surgeries. Um, this time it was with Dr. Rumer. Um, so some of the same information that I got on Friday, but um, you know, she kind of went over how she does things, um, kind of her methodology. Um, and it was it was a pretty informative workshop. I had to leave in the middle of it because um, it was my turn to uh, be on baby duty, and and and, and she uh, decided to have a little bit of a meltdown. But um, but you got to sit through it, and it was uh, it was Very pretty informative. informative. What did you get out of it? Um, well, I just I guess I didn't realize all of the options and all the different. Uh, surgeries that are possible, you know, everybody talks about the big surgeries, the top surgeries, and the bottom surgeries, but there's a lot of other little things that can be done, and, uh, and it was also very interesting because she said she works with a lot of, um, health insurance plans and things like that, so, uh, uh I found that very, uh, very interesting, and, uh, definitely something to look into, um, in the future. Yeah, so I think, um, the, the doctor that did the workshop on Friday is in Arizona, um, and Dr. Rumer um, is, at, Ard is in Ardmore, which is yeah. a lot closer to where we are. Um, and when I actually talked to the doctors at the Mazzoni Center, um, she was like at the top of the list uh, of people right. that they recommended. So well, she works out of Hahnemann, so that's a big name in Philadelphia, so must have a good reputation. Yeah, so the other workshop that I went to was one about um, insurance, um, being a health insurance buyer, um, and um, kind of tips and tricks to kind of get the insurance companies to cover the stuff that they should be covering for you. That was pretty informative, and the one thing that I did take away from that um, more than anything else was to make sure that you have a copy 
of everything. So make sure that you have a reference number and all of your ducks in a row. So if you have to call up again and they're like, you know, oh, you, we never talked to you about this. Like, yes, I talked to Susan on this date. And here's a reference number, blah, blah, blah. Um, just so that you're prepared so that they can't kind of circumvent you um, and tell you that you don't know what you're, you're talking about. So Because insurance companies are tricksy. They are. They're very tricksy. I mean, what else did you get out of the conference um, yesterday? Well, we got to spend some time with uh, one of our new friends who's been an online friend. We finally got to spend some in-person time with Julie, and that was awesome. Yeah, it was nice. And um, got to see Ash and Grace, although we didn't get to talk to them, but they did wave at the baby. Okay. Everybody, yeah. everybody loves the baby. You know, it was just another nice day of, you know, being part of the community. One thing that I was saying yesterday on the way home was that, um, you know, I mean, on the one hand, if you, you know, follow different people on social media, um, it's always cool to see them in person. The one thing that um, I was saying to you was that actually seeing them in person kind of made the entire conference feel a little more welcoming. And the same thing with, with you know, being able to hang out with Julie. We do a lot of talking online, but not so much in person. For a lot of trans people, like, there's not necessarily a community around you, um, and that can be very difficult. And so we kind of try to find an online community to be a part of. Having people that you, you know, talk to online, people that you follow on different social media platforms, um, kind of be there in person, it really made it feel more like, you know, the community that you have, which is actually online, is, you know, something tangible and something that, um, you know, is it's a little more real and it makes, makes you feel a little more comfortable. I, I have to say, um, I had a fantastic time. I had a really good time too. You know, there's a lot of great information. Um, there's a lot of, yeah, splash splash. There's, you know, a lot of different booze, a lot of different, different information, and you know, a lot of... It sounded like you said booze. We didn't say booze. No. We said booths. Yes. But there are bars in the general area, this if is that's true. your thing. Yeah, but I mean, it's the middle of Philly, so yeah. yeah. Um, but so, yeah. exhibit booths. Exhibit booths, yes. So, I mean, it was it was great, and it was it's definitely something I would like to go to again next year. I would definitely recommend it. Um, it is, um, as of right now, and hopefully going forward, um, you know, unless you're on the professional track, like you know, a healthcare provider or something, it's free. So, I mean, you've got to pay for parking and, you know, the tr transportation to get there, but um, it's free to go, and it's a great resource, and I had a blast. Uh, yeah, and I think um, it was very well organized. There was a good cross-section of uh, programs for everybody. Um, if anybody's watching this who has anything to do with actually uh, creating the programming, I think that it would be a good idea to have a uh, panel or some kind of discussion for trans parents. I mean, there was panels about parents of trans people. There were panels about dealing with your parents when you are trans. Yeah. Um, but actually being a parent while trans is uh, something that wasn't really Covered. And I think it's an um, important topic I find in my online communities um, that a lot of the questions, issues, things like that revolve around um, what do I do with my kids, how do I help my kids during transition, um, how do I deal with other parents, uh, things like that. Um, so something to keep in mind. I think all the information provided was really, really good, really, really helpful. Um, we didn't really talk much about the exhibit booths, but interesting to see the resources that you don't think are around that are hidden. There was a lot of booths for people, especially for people in the Philadelphia area. There are a lot of resources that most people probably aren't aware even exist. And the exhibition area was a great 
place to get all that kind of information and uh, find uh, resources um, to help you connect with uh, the community at large. And now you're in the video. Yeah. And mommy's all wet. Great. Yay! Yay! Did you like the conference? Wait, yes, did no. you like the conference? Did you like everybody waving at you? Yeah. Yay, okay. Okay. It is pretty much everything. I think we covered everything. It was a good time. Yeah. If you like this video, um, like, share, and subscribe. If you uh, have been to the Trans Wellness Conference before, or if you were there this time, and you have any comments, you know, let me know down below. And um, other than that, I uh, guess we'll see you around. Bye.